When looking for a pattern in a series of numbers, the easiest thing to do is to look to see if there is a common difference between the numbers. In this case, the difference between 6, 9, 12, and 15 is 3. We can say that this series of numbers has a common difference of 3, and is therefore represented by a linear equation. After numbering the numbers 1 through 4 and entering it into list 1 and list 2, you can ask for a linear regression. When looking for common differences, you're not always going to find it on the first try. For instance, the difference between 5, 9, 15, and 23 is not a common difference. But you notice the numbers are getting closer together. This tells us we should try again. When we do a second row of differences, we find that the difference between 4, 6, and 8 is 2. We call this a common second difference. This tells us that this function is quadratic. You can number the numbers and enter them in the calculator again, this time asking for a quadratic regression. Sometimes number patterns don't show up for a few tries. This pattern in numbers is pretty far apart. When we look for a common difference in the first row, the numbers get closer together, but are very far from being a common difference. So we'll try on the second row. Once again, the numbers are closer together, but still not the same. After one more try, we find out that these numbers have a common difference of 6 in the third row. Not all number patterns are obvious at first, but they can still have a common difference. In the first row, these numbers don't appear to be getting much closer together at all, but they are. After a check of the second row, we see the numbers getting even closer together, but we still don't have a common difference. In the third row, the numbers are even closer, but still not common. Finally, the fourth row reveals a common difference. That means this is a fourth degree equation. Not every number pattern has a pattern of common differences. In this case, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32, when you subtract between them, you find out that the pattern repeats itself. The numbers don't get any closer together. The same thing is true on the second row and on the third row. After looking at this pattern a little closer, it becomes evident that there's actually a common ratio, or the pattern goes up by a common multiple of 2. This is not the same thing as a common difference.